I'm William Marcus. I serve as the director of the Broadcast Media Center at the University. I'm, uh, that's the home for Montana Public Radio and the Missoula station at Montana PBS. Perhaps you see me as the host of Backroads of Montana, which is a great pleasure and privilege for me to be the host of that program. And I'm delighted to be here today to moderate this discussion among the candidates for the Montana House and Senate. I also want to recognize our interpreters, Stella Woodrum and Denise May. I'd like to thank them for their help today. And I'm going to pose the first question to the candidates so you can be thinking about it during the rest of my introduction here. The first question, and each of you will have two minutes to answer this. So what is your personal philosophy on government funding for support and services for older adults and individuals with disabilities to maintain their dignity and their independence? Our other questions are going to deal with the rates paid to providers, aging services funding, the home and community-based services, HCBS, the Community First Trust Option, which is part of the Affordable Care Act, and the state's choices in that option. And finally, if we get to it, if we have time, we'll talk about meal preparation, which is last on the, the list, but is incredibly important to people who need that assistance. In many ways, what we're talking about here today really falls into three areas, jobs, independence, and personal dignity. All things that Montanans hold dear, I think. The service providers who provide services to the elderly and the disabled represent hundreds, if not thousands, of jobs across Montana. Independence is an issue for people who are able to stay at home, to live in their own house, to be surrounded by their personal belongings, their flower garden, whatever. And the, the jobs, the, the personal assistance, enables that to happen, rather than have people be institutionalized or, or be in nursing homes. And personal dignity is the, the issue that caregivers are often involved in the most intimate care and assistance. And people who do the work should be paid decently. And the elderly and the disabled deserve the very best care that we can provide for them. So we're going to be talking about these issues today. The questions have been put together by the Disability and Aging Alliance of Missoula. And they're a nonpartisan alliance comprised of various agencies who provide services to individuals with disabilities, as well as older adults throughout the Missoula County. They're concerned with the social, economic, and personal well-being of the populations they serve. They strive to ensure that any policies, programs, and services which are enacted or put in place that affect or may affect the lives of individuals with disabilities or Montana's growing older population work to meet the needs of the populations for which they're intended in, in a manner that increases, again, the independence, dignity, and self-determination of these individuals. There are handouts at the table out front from many of the uh, members of the Alliance. I encourage you to, to put those up and learn more about them. The purpose of the forum, well, people with disabilities and older adults constitute a large percentage of Montanans and a significant portion of the electorate. Older adults, people with disabilities, in their drive to be independent and fully inclusive lives, face many challenges when it comes to the programs and services that many depend on to achieve independence, especially in the areas of health care, employment, and home and community-based services. This forum will give the candidates a chance to share their positions and views on the issues 
that are most important to Montana's disability and aging communities. It is the view of the Alliance that the next legislature and our statewide policymakers should, policy should know and understand what the problems are that need to be addressed when the 2013 session gets underway, and that voters know where the candidates stand before they vote. The ground rules are this. Each candidate will have two minutes to answer each question. The candidates will be notified of the time remaining by our timekeeper, Jim Lexa. You'll get a yellow sign at the one minute mark. Two minutes, your time is up. There will be a series of questions. The last half hour, the 5.30 to 6, sometime in that time frame, will be reserved for social time with the candidates. It will be free. Uh, I encourage you to stay. We actually have a room until 7 o'clock to uh, mingle and, and talk. And certainly that time one-on-one -on -one with the candidates is often very important. So let's go to that first question. And let's start down at the end of the table. Carolyn Squires, would you? I want to take the first question, please, which again is, what is your personal philosophy on government funding for support and services for older adults and individuals with disabilities to maintain their dignity and independence? Good afternoon. My name is Carolyn Squires, and I represent the Alliance for the Disabled, and I represent House District 96, which consists of the uh, South Cape Hospital, <coughs> Dr. Charter Grange, and the little bit over Vista. And I'm not sure if this is on, but uh, I'm not sure I'm uh, not mechanically challenged somehow to make it go. Sorry. Can we get the AV person here? But anyhow, can you hear me uh, enough so that I can continue? No. Anyhow, I, live, I have lived in my area for, uh, for uh, approximately 40 years in the same house right across the street from Franklin Park. Um, I worked as a licensed practical nurse at Missoula Community Hospital for 32 years. I have two sons I'm married and um, very happily married. I just celebrated my 40th wedding anniversary last weekend. So, um, But anyhow, enough of that. Action's over with, okay? But I get to start again. Anyhow, in my licensed practical nursing career, I dealt with the elderly, I dealt with the uh, middle-aged, and I also dealt with people with disabilities. I worked at the rehab center, and I worked at the, at the, um, the second floor, which was considered the medical, uh, medical area, where I dealt with a lot of elderly people. And I saw a lot of the problems that went on when people were discharged to home, and I also understood on a personal basis how much people wanted to stay within their homes in all of those categories that I mentioned to you. We had a fantastic group of social workers. The system initially wasn't, wasn't uh, too put together, but now it's much, much better than it was when we started out. I totally, totally support any activities or any support, financial support that would go to seniors and those individuals who are, um, uh, can or have a disability and uh, want to live on their own as well. Provide the durable medical equipment, provide the meals, provide the caregivers at a reasonable rate of, range, rate of pay so that they can sustain themselves as well. Those with disabilities should be able to choose their caregiver. The individuals that are at home get all the assistance that they need and um, they, some of them also become um, uh, productive citizens. I know of a gentleman who's a quadriplegic who now is a, is a uh, writer of a magazine article, attended the university, graduated, and is now a writer of articles for a magazine with disabilities. Never would have guessed that guy would have gone anywhere. But anyhow, I want to tell you that I'm in total support. My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, one drives for Meals on Wheels, and the other one is a caregiver. And I totally support this program. I totally support the decision. Thank you very much. I'm Sue Mallory, and I am a two term representative from House District 98, now running for Senate District 46, which is the Rattlesnake and out to Tura and Clinton and East is going up and to see the Lake and Um, Like Carolyn, I started working in a rest home my first job, and um, then I got a degree 
the institutionalization was going on. While I was in high school in Carmen, we visited the institutions and I saw the horrible conditions at Boulder and Long Springs. And so my commitment came to, to this effort early on to keep them in their own homes. My mother who suffered a stroke when she was seven years old and it gave her Parkinson's. And she takes medication for that. As a result, she also got macular degeneration. And so she's now 84 years old. And my father has been taking care of her all these years in their own home. So I appreciate the stress that it puts on me. And I understand, as we've talked to them in recent years about alternatives, I understand they want to stay in their home as long as they can. And we want to do everything possible to make sure that happens. And certainly support services are the only way to get them. My name is Dave Andrews. I'm running in House District 100, which is south and west of the city. It's all in Missoula County, but it's outside the city limits. It's Lolo, the big flat area where I live, out towards Stretch Town and Alberton. Uh, I don't have the experience that Sue and Carolyn have it directly in, in uh, this field, but I did turn 67 last month. That makes me close to home. My career uh, has been in science, business, and education. I, I got a PhD in physics years ago, uh, worked in research for a while, then went to work for a manufacturing company where I spent 22 years as an engineer originally and, and uh, vice president for new business for the last eight years. Uh, more recently, I've been teaching physics at the University of Montana. I retired from that this past spring, and, and some people wonder why I want to ruin my retirement by going to Helena, but uh, I have some big things I want to do there. The, uh, certainly I support, my, my personal philosophy is to support the uh, types of issues that are described in, in, the, set of, in the set of questions. Uh, some of the questions are uh, a little bit uncomfortably specific for me because I don't know the interplay between the various, uh, of the various programs well enough. But I do support the general thrust of, of, of the programs, and I do uh, believe that the, that the baseline, if you want to call it that, set by the 2011 legislature needs to be built upon, not, not uh, 